Right guys, today we are testing the Fantic 250F. Uh, this one's from Rutz Racing, so big shout out to them. I'll put the link in the bio. If you want more information, maybe go and speak to them. Um, the bike looks absolutely sick. It's a freshie today. It comes with acrophobic, uh, an arrow pipe, sorry, a standard. It comes with a uh, get ignition, a domino uh, exhaust. I meant a domino throttle, not an exhaust. Anything else it comes with? Launch control as well. So this bike is stacked from standard. So I'm really looking forward to, to having a go. A lot of people say, oh, it's a yam, but it's not a yam. It, well, it is a yam, but Fantic have, have had a right good finger in with it. And uh, yeah, it's supposed to be absolutely shit hot. So apparently there's a lot of power in this bike. So let's get out there. Let's get on. We're in Bake Up MX today, which was my last vlog. So if you want to see that track, check out the vlog before. Other than that, hold on tight. Let's go and test it out. So Fantic, here we come. So she's completely stocked. She was brand new today. Obviously the owner, Callum, he's uh, had a bit of a go on her and that. Run her in for me. Today the track is um, it's a little bit damp, so a bit of a, an unfair test really. Um, but uh, we should get the idea. We've got a little map switch here. Start button. I think that's a launch control. But, uh, feels all right on the bike. Tank's a little bit wider than my KXF. Um, I'd say the front end feels a little bit lower as well. Just sitting on the bike. Quite responsive there. Lovely bit of rev. Cable clutch feels quite smooth. Obviously the KX is uh, hydraulic. Watch the uh, quad there. All right, so uh, let's get out on her. Oh, she does sound crisp. Oh, lovely bit of bottom end there. Right, first impressions. Feels lower than the KXF. So the, um, the seat feels quite a bit lower. I've got quite a bit of room there. The bars feel lower. The whole bike feels quite a bit lower, actually. Obviously this is a 250F, so it hasn't got as much power as my 450, but yeah, you, can, you can hear me revving it. Red, red, red. Ooh. Well, suspension's good for stock, I'll give it that. She's so throaty. Like blipping it all the time, right. Oh. Oh, yeah, she's nice. Say a lot, lot different riding position to my uh, 450, but power's really good. Oh, lovely power. Watch the noddies. Yeah, she's nice. Oh yeah, lovely! Just takes some getting used to be different to the KX. Full control is lovely, you know. That domino action, absolutely lovely. Can handle the jumps there. Oh. Gotta remember, she's not, a, she's not a 450 can. Use the power like a 450, but yeah, brilliant bike. I feel like I can ride this a little bit faster than the KXF. Well, it's got some power at that top. Watch the kids. Easy, lad. The flow is so smooth. Shit. If you like, if you like a river, you'll love this bike. Oh, that's beautiful, that. Oh shit, easy. Yeah, getting used to this. It's quite nice seeing on the front. 
that throttle is so smooth. You like a smooth throttle, but don't love this. Very planted on the pegs, with it being the position it is. I really want to try this launch control. See if I can get Adam to set it up. Right. In gear, yeah. Right, let's try the launch control and a quick lap. Oh, that was beautiful. How did you hear that? Oh, she's fast. On the pipe. Slap on the fan tick. <laughs> I don't know if it was working. Was was it at five or what? Was it? I tell you what, it picked up though, didn't it? Did go. When me and him put that on, it went and it kept the front wheel down. Yeah, yeah, it was just, it was just, just hovering. Nice, no, diff different. Yeah. It's different seating. It's, it feels the bike feels lower. Yeah. Feels like a lower bike. Power wise. Power wise is nice. The front, the throttle's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Throttle is absolutely lovely. You can definitely tell the difference on that between the other makes. Can you? It's a lot smoother. So if you jumped on a gasser now, you notice the power difference. Yeah, it's hard because. Obviously it feels a little bit slower because I'm on a 450, yeah, yeah. especially out there today where it's claggy. That's it. Do you know what I mean? There's a couple of times I'm just totally in wrong gear. Yeah, yeah. It's a different way of riding, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's fair to say the Fantic absolutely delivered. This is a 2022 Fantic XXF 250. This is a year old, however, they are still selling them. With a reduced price from 8499 to 7495 makes the Fantic quite a good deal. Considering the Yamaha's equivalent version is only £100 cheaper at 8399 it just makes a no-brainer to get the Fantic, and especially now, being that it's nearly got £1,000 off. Personally, if you was thinking of the Yamaha or the Fantic, I just can't see why you would not choose this bike. Like I said, to get the Arrow exhaust, to get ignition, it just makes more sense as well I think with the the tuning and the engine work really I don't know why Yamaha give Fantic all this licensing to do this stuff because like I said it's offering a better bike at really just a little bit more so Fantic such a great bike like I said if it was between this and the Yamaha I know which one I pick well that is the session done on the Fantic big thanks to uh, Callum at Rutz Racing uh, for letting me having to do it that absolutely uh, really good bike like I said feels a lot lower so if you're a shorts person like me it probably might be a better bike whether you're tall as well like a smaller feel I know my friend Matt he rides a, a 252 stroke fancy loves it and he's six foot five so I don't maybe height is a difference if you just like the lower feel of the bike I think this bike is a fantastic bike for that like I said Good points are for me and the throttle, the throttle is so smooth, really smooth, I like that a lot. Um, phew, other good points, probably the power, the power really smooth again, obviously that probably goes with the throttle, it was absolutely mega coming out the corners, again it's, it's hard to do a test here properly because it is wet, it is claggy, the track's a little bit rough, it is winter. Um, but no, I'd really like a good go on, like a mud track. I think that this would excel a lot better than other 250s I've rode. Obviously, power-wise, to me, 450 is not as quick, but like I said, it is a 250F, so it's half the CC. 
bad points, really. It's, it's hard to think of one. Um, probably, if anything, the exhaust was a bit loud. If you like a loud exhaust, then that sound. Um, it, it, it was quite loud, but if you like, it was. It's kind of like a turn on and a turn off all at the same point. Because when it was on, when it was on the pipe, it is. It just sounds awesome. So, yeah. Other than that, I wouldn't say there's sort of any um, any bad. There was something on the side of my leg. I touched. I think it's the pipe. Um, just the pipe here. I uh, touched that a few times. I could feel it, but no. Great bike. If you're in the market for a, a, a fancy, and you're wondering what they're like, great little bike would recommend it so uh, yeah I think they're doing a deal now as well on them so maybe go and check it out like I say check what's racing out and uh, other than that let me know what you think on this uh, quick vlog if you like me testing other bikes want to see some more let us know till then see you later guys